<laughs> your hair if you cut my hair. <laughs> Play Smash and get your hair cut? Absolutely. Steve! Steve! Let's go. All right. Wait, he went Cloud? Yeah, he did. Ah, oh, dude, I don't know. I don't like it. This is a best of five. Yeah, however. so you can try something. Change that because it says best of three, Anthony. Good stream tech. You are? <laughs> hey. <laughs> there we go. Hurt. Look at this guy. <laughs> um, all right, so... Like I said, yeah, this is the best of five, so he has time to adapt. If he wants to switch, obviously he could. He can, you know, he's got a bajillion different characters. I feel like one of the things that Steve actually has going in a matchup is that he could kind of exploit Clout off stage pretty well. He has a lot of moves. Uh, well, the blocks make it so he just just extend the stage and let trap from for wherever he wants, and that kind of the blocks all the blocks also stuff out that was, Cloud's that jump. That was really good. Yeah, he's very good in the matchup. Steve's will do this thing where they'll do like anvil into a back air like yeah. every single time. <laughs> if that, that's if the, that's if their anvil doesn't hit or it's not on shield. Every single time, I swear. Um, Mojo's got to be careful. Yeah, like this. Like you have to space. You gotta space. Bro. You cannot just go in willy nilly and not expect to get near near back air. Bro. Oh, or near oh, he got back. Oh my god, he got back in it three times. Yeah. Ooh, nice angle. okay. Yeah. He's looking for diamond right now. I feel like in this matchup, spe specifically against Steve, every character you just have to stay moving. Mm -hmm. Like yes. Anvil, yeah. Look, bro, just stay moving, and you, you will not get hit by that ever. Oh wow, he's taking the entire thing. Nice. Steve's brain data is actually not great. The only things that are great are up air and jab, uh, and up tilt was the same move basically. But if you're in Steve's face, suffocating him, catching him while he mines, because mining is really laggy. Yeah. Um, I agree. I feel like that's the best way to kind of break through what he's trying to Absolutely. deal with. Which is exactly what uh, Mojo's been doing this game against Good Tango. dash tag. Damn, wow, I can't believe he died. Does he have diamond? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah he, he does. Okay. He's Honestly, close to another one also. I don't even feel... He's gonna kill him. I don't even feel that diamond oh. is that threatening in a sense. You think so? Yeah. I, I mean, he kind of gets away with a lot because of it. I like extra damage, more yeah. knockback, etc. But like... I'm gonna sound really stupid when I say this. Just do not, just don't get hit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's true. Most of it's just a long time to do that. Yeah, most of his stuff won't confirm at these higher percents with diamond. Other, you know, if it was another tool, less knockback, it would. You know what I mean? That's so. a good point because the only thing that Pango has going for him at these mid percents are stray hits. Exactly. And mm -hmm. since diamond is so like oppressive, it does so much damage. I guess it makes up. That's it why it's not up. a yeah, big it weakness. Out completely. Yep. Wow. Okay, that was he dropped smart. it in mid-air and landed on it. You honestly have to challenge him there. He's living. Yeah. He's living. Like, he might have been able to up-E there. Yeah. I'd like to see more, uh, like, pressure safely into Pango, hit Mojo shield, into up at a shield. Good roll. Timing it to avoid getting ledge stolen. I feel like Pango has been playing around that pretty well, but right there, punishing the cross slash with... Nice. Oh, great up smash. Or gets caught and dies to the up smash right after. We have an easy... Oh, he does even stock game here yeah. in game one. He was able to craft diamond to get 50% right away. Most people don't challenge Steve there, but like when he once he's mining like that, or I'm sorry, once he's crafting, it takes a hot minute. Mm -hmm. So like, just go up and try and hit him. Or push him off yep. if, if he has platform mm -hmm. Exactly. He, yeah, his special move on the ground, like mining and crafting, is super slow. Not super. It's but, nine frames for mining. Yeah. Go, ah, oh, see, he almost got the back here. I don't know. During Roll? my set, I was kind of tilting my shield to make sure I don't get poked. Down? Oh. You're tilting it down? No, tilting it up. Well, so the, uh, the yeah, but what about the, the ground poke. hitbox? Isn't that where it pokes from? No, no the I, ground hitbox it... hits like the middle of the shield. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I yeah, I think I was tilting. Yes. Oh, that's gonna kill. Ah, that's so wow, that was he such a greedy right, downbeat. He, he had the right idea though. I liked I liked how I like you know that kills there probably sixty three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had max, you know, almost max range. Yeah. Mojo going for the all or nothing play there. It does not work out in that scenario. He, and Pango. he was playing it def definitely differently. Definitely I, differently. I from, feel like Mojo was winning that game most of the time. He was. Though. He was. That's how it feels with Cloud. You're getting bodied in the corner by back air to like forever, and then you just get one combo from Steve, and their even percentage or Cloud's even dead. I realized when I was playing against Pango is that when he has no mats, he just kind of works. Yeah, because he, he doesn't have another away. choice. Yeah, you, you have to kind of get Steve to that point. And with Cloud, I feel like that shouldn't be that hard. Steve no. is not a good character if he does not have his resources. Yeah, no, I agree. That's I agree. why 100%. Cloud, I feel like, is very good in this matchup. He's very good at uh, making it so that he stays at the perfect range yeah. where he can hit Steve for mining but not get punished for whipping if he does. Yeah. The blocks just, just honestly, just get rid of that. He's got to destroy those first before With, like, an F-tilt or something, yeah. yeah. Just get rid of them. Oh, he's going to not tech, but it's going to be fine. Okay. The normal blade beam actually does no damage to the blocks. Interesting. Yeah. 
So um, that's something, another thing Steve has going uh, okay. for him in this matchup. The reason you saw a Mojo dash tag there is because it actually destroys the minecart completely and will hit Steve. Also, because he, he pops out. Exactly. Okay. Um, um, up smash my kill I feel like reading defensive options Good. off of minecart does perfect. It's like a mini game in itself. Yeah. Where like the Steve's at ledge and he's at disadvantage. He's using minecart to yep. get out. Good jump. Perfect. Yep. Now he's counterplaying it a good amount. He doesn't have an anvil to kill from above, so he needs to find a way to land. Exactly. Ooh. Nice. Good oh, good DI though. Effect, but that was yeah, all the way across stage. I like this. He's got no minecart, just pressure. No iron, yeah. This is tough for Steve. Oh, now he's got a minecart. It's gonna be a minecart. He kill, actually gets probably. the diamond. That's huge. Nope, he went for anvil instead. He's got another piece left. Oh. Oh. He's regrabbing. Nice. Oh. He does get punished on the roll. Pango does does roll a lot. That's something I've noticed when I played him. I think this is. Nice, oh, good wait. And wow, good limit what a charge. recovery! Yes. So Pango actually opted to edge guard him with, but instead uh, of just use blocks, instead of uh, crafting the diamond straight away, I guess it it worked out a little. It yep. Forced the limit out of him. Yep. One thing I want to point out there was Mojo held shield for a really, really long time, and it was it was like the perfect counterplay to anything, bro. Like, yeah, Pango's not using many grabs in this matchup mm -hmm. so far. Nope. Nope. That's what I noticed as well. Just hold shield, honestly. If he finds this kill, he might be able to break if it back. If Mojo was spacing shit properly, he would never get punished out of shield. Steve's out of shield is honestly not really good. He has really jab and he has up tilt. And yeah. puts still anvil. That's about it, though. Yeah, like, but at the higher percents, you're not going to get much. Unless you know like the NIL stuff out of up tilt, yep. um, you're not going to get uh, a kill out of that. It's just damage at earlier percents. That's why Steve's so oppressive okay. in the early fight. But in the mid fight, he struggles a lot. He's one combo away from bringing this back. Oh, two. That's another spike? Aye. Oh, no, good, good DI, though. Yeah, absolutely. Because I could have killed him with a block placement. Oh, you got to grab there, dude. I know he's Ooh. I know he's probably afraid of getting minecarted or like hit with something stupid, but you got to He's got to build it. walls behind him so he doesn't die. Yeah, you got to pull the he's got to pull the trigger. Well, I'm talking about Mojo. Mojo's got to grab more. Nice. Yeah, good no, read. no, no. I know, I know. I'm just saying uh, oh, Pango should yeah, be yeah. building walls behind him there yep. so that he can like tech the bear. I feel like um Cloud in this matchup kind of gets rid of the walls very quickly with uh, back air. Yep. He should not be using the limit uh, neutral B on the block. That was so. a good. That was a good bait. He might just want to get rid of it so at the later percents he has more, you know, an easier time using it. Do you think it's worth it just to burn the limit there? Yeah, yeah, I think so. He might he might not have any wow. practical uses for it like at at the current moment. But so. I feel like yeah, I feel like using it there allows you to charge limit, which in itself is a good pressure tool against I mean, Steve. He, he's getting hit a lot. Oh my Whoa, whoa great whoa, tech. What? What? It looks like it was attackable too. What happened? Was that attack? Yeah, it was attack. I, I honestly. It was attack on the block. Okay, good shield. He's find this kill right Steve, now. Players always jump out of the minecart. What? Nice. Oh, dude, Actually that was catches so the jump with the F smash, tying up the stocks. But it might look too grim here for Pango. Yeah, his mats are kind of low. He doesn't have gold anymore. Nope. He's yep. running out of iron. Yeah. He's down to like two pieces of iron. Okay. Good. He just needs to start a loop. You have to SDI as hard as you can in order to get out of those Steve combos at low percent. Ooh, has him against the wall, the grinder. too close to the wall in order to... Yes, roll was good, roll was good. Yep. Wow, he just like missed a bunch of jabs in a row. Yeah, good grab. Now, okay, this is, this is where he needs to take advantage oh, of it for sure. He has to be careful, his pick's gonna break soon. Nice, good, good shield. shield. Yes, perfect. Can't down air, what are you gonna do? Air dodge. He has to guess and land yep. with a spot with an air dodge. He might up B now, yes! Oh, oh that's good. Good catch, good. So good, so good, so good. It looked like Pango was mounting something a little bit at the end, but Mojo quickly cool. snuffs out the little yep. momentum yeah. he had. Yep, that's what you guys gotta realize, is that without Anvil, how does he land? Or a minecart to change up where he's going? Like, what does he do? That's true. Steve is a lot better of a character if he has iron. Yep. A lot of his good moves stem from his iron use, and exactly. the best Steves know how to work around how much iron he has. And he was at a match there at the end. I feel like the more the Steve like worries about losing the game, the more minecart, the more anvil they'll use, and mm -hmm. the more mats that they'll waste. It and seems then, that, yeah, those are like Pango's comfort go moves. Yeah, go to. And like, that's why Steve players kind of get tunnel vision when they have that uh, kind of direction that they're going in. Like, oh, I'm losing. I really need to get like a minecart cheese or like a nice anvil kill or something like that. And then they start straying away from their original game plan of like, oh, let me mine and run away. Places blocks here, you should get him. Oh, that was a good recovery. Absolutely. Avoiding the great system and being able to up the past yep. the block that he plays. I feel like the double jumps are also super important against Steve. He tends to commit a lot. Um, 
Because he has such a bad jump. Yeah, exactly. Yep. His short hop is very is very bad. I'm glad you guys are backing me up right now. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I'm saying super intelligent things. No, you're right, and yeah. And you're just like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Well, all of these things. Oh, you bad. played uh, Angle, Steve, Angle Steve earlier, so. Um, Mojo quickly taking the first stock here, yep. about the one minute mark. Yep, and Mojo's playing he's got his attack perfectly. Here. Good attack. Oh, wow, yeah. punishes. With that. He's almost at limit, though, so he's going to really have to avoid this if so he doesn't want to attack on any extra Mojo's damage. Mojo's sweet spot here is at the ledge. He yep. is getting so much damage every nice. time he gets into the corner. His, oh, confirms, nice stall. his confirms are really clean, He just SD'd the... Oh, no. Ooh. Wow. Okay. That was a really good... It was like a ledge from the... Yeah. Okay. Yep. Aww. His climb hazard, you know... Sadly, PS2 is huge and will not kill from mid Wow, he catches his jump, though. But that will. And now he's like, almost at diamond. There it is. I feel like at those higher percents, you don't really want to commit to a short hop like that. Because it can easily get caught out by a mine car. I feel like moving in this game is super committal sometimes. Yep. We're like... At the best, if you if you look at the top of tier list, the best characters don't need movement in order to win. They just have ridiculous moves that yep. kind of help them. Ooh, um, okay, he's got no jump. Good ooh. air dodge. Yep. Oh, he footstooled him. That's gonna be it. Ah, uh, he could have charged limit maybe and made it back, but <laughs> I think he was in. It was footstool his I, son or whatever. I yeah. wonder if that was intentional. Oh, I, I'm gonna ask him later. <laughs> I, I want to know. I didn't look it. That's something I would go Ooh, for. Oh, okay. Oh, he can't start a pickle because of the percentage of the rage. Yeah, but he has no iron right now, so I feel like. He's got to take advantage of this. Now, yeah. I have not seen Pango really confirm off of the jab much in this set. I feel like Cloud is at a weight where it, it, it's a little it's a little weird. You have to do different nice routes. Nice on the recovery. Ooh, okay. Mojo wow, catching the jump, too. Good. And if he... Oh, I, think he's... I can't believe that hit. Oh, he is dead. Okay. A little bit of iron on the board. Don't let him craft. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, he's choking him himself. It's... You got to get, get in there. You got to go. We have another last stock situation this set. Very close set this uh, yeah, season so players. far. Good recognition of the of the anvil out of the uh, out of the minecart. Oh, whenever Pango is above, yep, a mojo, he takes so much damage. Yep, and that's what's so important. But and now he, he can't. If mats. he can put up a wall here, he can avoid the. No mats. Yep, that was a great forward. It hit all three of the blocks and damaged them. As long as he can stall that limit, I think it's going away soon. I would have killed if he was on it. Oh, oh there it is. He has oh. to waste it. Yeah, but I feel like he waited for a good time to use it. He was kind of like losing neutral. Yeah. Whoa, the climb. Wow. Oh, wow. Pango's just kind of down out. to one block. And he's get, oh, he got some iron. He's not getting mine too much. Yeah. Now he just got a bunch of mats in order to win the game. Pango just got into a way better scenario now. Oh. Well, he's kind of wasting it. Yeah, he used his last piece of gold. Yep. Mojo's having this really, really good recognition. He's getting used to the minecart timings, that was a good shielding minecart, them, but... jumping them. Now that he has to. Now he's in a terrible spot with yep. no mats. Yes, perfect. Oh, oh I thought nice. I was gonna kill. Yep. Oh, no mats at all. Just no, no Pango at ledge here. Yeah. Mojo wow. needs to get the kill here if he wants to win. He's just shielding. You gotta grab him. You honestly have to grab him there. Oh, oh the sword, and breaks. sword breaks. Yep. And he still has no mats. He's gonna have to get a bear to win this game. <gasps> or an up smash. Or an up smash. That's, that's punishable. That's perfect. Mojo. Uh, oh, a risky mine there, right? He's gonna in front have to. Of Mojo. Oh, oh, oh my God. Wow. That wow. kills him. What, so unfortunate. What a down smash. What a high pressure situation. Yeah, he For like really, a Mojo minute. fiended. He fiended way too hard. I thought that was best oh. of three. Damn. And his <laughs> Pango shield was low, dude. Yes. Yeah, so was Mojo's in a little in its in its own sense. How will Mojo respond in game four here? Because Are they gonna go back out, to PS2? He came out explosive yeah, in game two after he lost game one. So I wonder if he's gonna take a, take anything that Pango's doing different. Grab. He's got to grab. He's got to grab ledge, more, but he's yeah. got no materials That's like that. very true. Pango literally sat there for five seconds in shield, and, and Mojo just spaced back here. I mean, that's not. It wasn't a bad decision, but he could have gotten way more reward for his risk. You know. That's very true. The thing is, I feel like Mojo is valuing back air a lot, and his uh, cloud aerials just so fast, so safe, and kill so early that he's just kind of forcing Pango into shield, and that's yeah. kind of why he's stuck at the ledge a lot. Since you, you mentioned earlier how Steve doesn't have the best out of shield option, especially when he has no materials. Yep. So even if he's not getting the damage per se, I feel like he's applying the pressure, the pressure that has him win this matchup. Ooh. Wow, okay. that almost spiked. Now Pango's nice. almost near Diamond. Mojo's doing a really god, good job in these jungle. <laughs> Sorry, Turkey. Uh, in these jungle situations, he's not letting Pango land, and he's taking good advantage of the hits that he gets. And that's what's important against Steve. Just making sure you get the damage. Perfect. That was a good cross-up. Perfect, the bro. Perfect. 
Pang He's destroying the table. Yep, playing super aggressive. Push him off the table now. Nah, he didn't. He lets him get it. I yeah. mean, it's, like I it said, it doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal. No. Because no, now he has to mine for another one. And he is going to even it up. And Steve now, I would say, is in the lead with Diamond Tools. Those short hops. Perfect. That was great. Nice little mix up from Mojo in the corner. Ooh, good edge cancel, but doesn't get anything off of it. He's going for a lot of non true things, but it's it's kind of like working. Okay. Yeah, because he's basically just calling out his habits in a sense. Yep, absolutely. And now he's looking for gold, I think, to get something started. Yep. Pango keeps getting caught in neutral, just mining. Yeah. He needs to put up a wall, I mean, or or just like go at him and stop mining. A weird, a, a weird thing about Steve is like I feel like you have to take some sort of risk if you want to get yourself back in the game. Mm -hmm. But Mojo just so on top of these neutral getups with this dash attack. And what what was once even stocks is now a full stock lead for Mojo yes. and even more percentage. Per he's playing perfectly out of shield this game, not letting Pango getting anything started. Ooh, good combo starter. Wow. Ooh, okay. Oh, that was like sixty percent off of that confirmed. Mojo is not SDI at all. <laughs> I just want yeah. I just want that to be known. Is like you can SDI to make it not true. That's they could that's follow true. SDI, but I guess. That would mean he would have to delay his, you know, his combo. That was a little bit of a different route. Yeah, it did different. nothing. The blade beam yeah, did the, nothing. Yeah, they don't do anything because it's like percentage based. Oh, on the nice too. catch by Pango there, sending Mojo to the other side of the stage. Gonna set up a wall here. Mojo Just should get another. Um, he should get another. Uh, sorry, I'm Ooh, so out of it right now. He should get another uh, limit. Yeah, here he goes. This is what I was. But is he gonna say. use it right away or wait? That's fine. Okay. That's a good place yep. to use it, though. I think, I think the anvil actually broke. No, it, it broke up. Well, I was from under him. Nice. Oh, good ledge trump. trump. Yep. Nice. Wow, that's going to take it. And it takes it. Mixes it. Mixes up his D. Now we're going to game five. Mojo played so aggressive and just a really reserved throughout that whole entire set was reading, conditioning. Uh, I feel like that's what Cloud's got to do in this matchup. Yep. Where, like, in neutral, you have to play super safe, play around your best moves, back air. You can throw in a down tilt and catch. Steve mining a little bit there, like yep. he, he did that a few times last game. Um, the winning neutral is really important for Cloud yep. because he holds his advantage super well, especially and against Steve at the ledge. This is interesting because we've been going PS2 the whole time. Is, is, yeah. Was there a switch or not? No, I don't believe so. Oh, you were yep. right. Small battlefield. This okay. gives him access to same, planking. Same thing, bro. <laughs> Steve can plank here. I Absolutely. wonder if, he, if that's going to come into play. play. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Mojo is just realizing the situations where he can just kind of run in. Yep. No, we got the Mario if Mojo, really easy. If Mojo mixed in grab just a little oh, bit. Oh, he missed Spike, but. Okay. Yo, this music in the. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Dude, uh, this is so anticlimactic. It's <laughs> like not a hype song. Oh, yeah. I don't... <laughs> Shut up. Yo, nice hey, read on the roll. Pango's been using those. He's really way just too catching much. him at ledge. And it's like Pango really wants to get back to center stage, and Mojo's taking. Huge oh, he advantage. rolled again. Yeah. But dude. now he's gonna catch all the blocks and Steve. Yeah. I feel like what Pango is fail has failed to do in the games that he's lost versus the games that he's won is good grab. Is not holding center stage yep. like he has. His been. defensive habits are getting really obvious, and they're becoming like really linear. It just goes to show how good Mr. Uh, Mr. Mojo Rising is at putting Pango Pressure. into uncomfortable situations that make him fall back on his habits and on Steve's bad disadvantage. And now Pango's got to be careful because here comes Limit. Oh, he wasted. He wasted. He th maybe he thought he broke the block. I'm not yeah. sure. Oh, he goes right under him with the minecart, and he's gonna jump yep, up and get a pair. There's the back here off the anvil that oh, I was talking about. Going for about. the up tilt now. No, oh. but Mojo playing well, a realizing the situation. That is a fantastic setup that is available on this stage. And what looked like Mojo favor is kind of turning out to be uh Oh, he does catch. And Pango actually takes his pickaxe the does first break. deck. Uh, the first stock. Nice up B. Read the mine card. Perfect. Oh, okay. Yep, perfect, perfect. But he has access to diamond right now. He's going to go. When forward. you think about it, Mojo was leading this game really hard. And I enjoy how he's punishing these up tilt out of. Uh, yeah, he started to do that a lot like, recently. A lot of Steve's get away with. It's just spamming, shield. spamming a jab and yep. up to on shield. And but just Pango keep doing it. Not, like, he's not adapting to the fact that he's just getting punished over and over again. Yeah, what if he just, like, does one or two and then just runs away and then gets a punish, bro? That's true. He can whiff punish. He can also grab. Yeah. Steve has not done many grabs oh, this game. I'm noticing now Pango has no materials. Yeah, he has no mats. He has to start a pick loop or... And he can't, and he can't even build. You know, he can't some even... some money time here. Yeah. Can't even like build a wall off in order to you know start mining. Wow, he doesn't even catch a jump there. Oh, it's shield pokes there. Has to go for that. the footstool anvil actually, but get through, get through. You gotta get through. Okay. Something I see Pango not doing a lot is Mr. Mojo likes to up be above the ledge and if. And oh, if I got, shield! 
Okay. It's, a, for it's, Amble, again, it's crazy the amount of times we've seen the interaction of Limit, Cross Slash, and anvil. him standing on the yeah. anvil yeah. and breaking or not breaking. Oh, up smash! Oh, oh, oh no that punish. was a few nice. percent for being true. Mojo, Mojo not getting oh, like scared, punishing properly. Oh, and catching out. the jump and out of the line Limit on board. Yeah, I feel like Mojo's going to go for an up and a shield here for damage. Up was on his tournament stock oh, here. 30, 30. yeah. Pingo's getting oh. very desperate for this kill here. Yep. That's oh, good. That, that should be it. Should be a frag. That's okay. good, sir. Yep. Let's see. He needs but to get materials he, fast. He doesn't really have a lot, honestly. He has only two iron. Good up B as well. Catch it. All he needs is one opening. Nice. Wow, he clanked. <gasps> oh, nice parry. parry. Literally, wow. literally could have ended so the game crazy. right there. Good parry. No, no jab. But he low profile. Mojo decides not to up yet of there. Instead, goes for a roll. He really has to give himself an advantage right now. If he goes back to mining, oh, it's going to be really tough now. He doesn't actually have a lot. He's been using way more than he's been taking in. Oh, that was good fair, but he's about to get limit. The thing nice. is, Steve's moves are so costly with the iron. Each anvil and each minecart is one yeah. iron. And he bare he, he gets just, like four on average per stock. Nice. No, not per stock. <gasps> this is so close. Oh, oh what a, what good, a light triangle. Such a good low recovery from Pango in order to He still has diamond sword. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh my god. So nice. Oh, catches no, no, no. the F smash. Don't Great. roll again. Oh Great my double god. jump. He's rolled so many times. Yep. I feel like Mo that that might be his win condition here for Mojo. Get Pango to roll. No nice. punish. Good hold. His shield is so low. Oh. Forcing him to spot dodge there. So Skillin oh. actually has a diamond here left over. We're gonna, it's gonna be a minecart. Mr. That has Mojo's to be the... not letting him craft it mm -hmm. to get that extra. Nope. And and Pango shielding way too much. He's, he's, he's gonna, gonna get poked. Get he's yep, gonna get poked. He's gonna get shield poked. That's Is fine. It? That's fine. Take that. Well, he actually tries to minecart. No, he jumps off the yep. anvil. And oh. That's the kill. Oh. Yep. 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 yep, 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 yep Great yep. set. That is a, a close set. He beat the Steve. Five last hit scenario, but Mr. Mojo Rising climbs over the Steve. That is. And all the Steves are now out of the bracket. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> all right, I gotta go.